guys welcome back to my channel so today's video i'm actually going to get right into it i'm going to be telling you guys what i made as a new grad registered nurse in the state of new york okay so for those of you guys that don't know i am an er nurse and i have been working for almost two years now which sounds crazy because sometimes i still feel like a new grad but i feel like if you're a new nurse or a nurse in another state even in nursing school whatever and sometimes you still just want to know like yo how much are nurses getting paid what am i getting myself into disclaimer if you are coming into this profession strictly for the money i don't know okay i don't know what to tell you but uh this is not a job i mean the money listen i'm not working for free okay when i go to work i expect to get paid for it but what i am saying in this profession Money should not be your own driving force. However, I feel like there needs to be some pay transparency. I don't feel like there's anything wrong with that. Why shouldn't I want to know how much I'm going to be getting paid in this career? You know what I mean? Like it's, it's not my driving force. It shouldn't be anyone's driving force, but it is a force to be had because I'm not going to be breaking my back for $2. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to be sharing you guys that just because I feel like that's what I do. I'm honest. I, I want to be transparent with you guys and show you guys what's up because if not me, then who? You know what I mean? That's number one. Number two, I want you guys to lean in close, okay? I don't know if y'all notice, but the quality that I'm giving you guys like look like i'm looking up because i can actually see myself while i'm recording guys i am no longer recording on my phone i have a camera now i have been recording on my phone since i started so the fact that i'm recording this is my first time recording on the camera so guys let me know thoughts let me know how i'm looking in this view because the quality what like am i looking okay because it's picking up everything okay so shout out to my lovely amazing handsome boyfriend who got me this camera super excited about that that's number two number three your girl's struggling a little bit because i am like recovering from laryngitis so if i sound like uh frogs in my throat that's that's why i'm sipping on my tea so that's that but while we're at it guys let's get comfortable okay lean in take your shoes off take your socks kick your feet up i mean if your feet stink keep your socks on but let's get comfortable subscribe okay join the table stay a while give this video a thumbs up comment down below if you missed your girl because i've always and will always miss you guys but while we're at it let's get into the video let me let me start showing you guys how how much i'm making and how to get to this coin okay okay guys so let's get into it honestly this video shouldn't be too long because the facts are the facts numbers are numbers okay so i'm just gonna tell you guys um my orientation pay my hours and my gross compared to my net after taxes obviously everyone's taxes are going to be different so like if you're watching this video expecting exact and this is exactly what you're going to get paid please i beg do your own research realize that your situation is going to be different from mine your tax exemptions are going to be different from mine so obviously everybody's paycheck is going to be different obviously um i work in a state and live in another so there's double tax there so i i need you guys to just like you know disclaimer <laughs> that that is what's going on so first things first let me take a sip of my tea y'all because mm -mm. For my tea lovers, this is ginger tea. If you guys didn't know, I'm obsessed with tea. I'm not a coffee drinker, but tea, besties. So let's get into it, guys. Honestly, I'm going to be putting like screenshots um, on the screen just so you guys can see. This is March of 2021, okay? So this is me just past my NCLEX earlier that month in March, like March 4th, 2nd, whatever. And then I was hired and ready to work March 28th, 29th. And this is technically like my first paycheck as a nurse, even though I wasn't working on the floor, I was in orientation. So if you are a new nurse, you know that once you're on orientation, just because you're not working with patients yet, you still get paid obviously to be in orientation. So my rate during orientation was $43.40 as you can see on the screen right so with the same two weeks 75 hour pay period um I was making $3,255.25 y'all you can't tell me nothing okay I was like how much what 
you couldn't tell me nothing you couldn't tell me i wasn't making so much money but obviously taxes like if i if if we all got the amount of money just gross without any taxes we would be like living life but obviously freaking taxes man okay so taxes deducted um a good chunk of money so i walked away with two thousand two hundred and seventy nine dollars and eighty seven cents and guys that was my first paycheck as a registered nurse and when i tell you that felt so good i don't care you know if that's a little bit to you i don't care if you're like girl that's nothing listen when you came from not working not making anything okay this was a lot for me and it my my um salary at the time was eighty four thousand six hundred thirty six dollars now keep in mind guys really quick that um my salary was decreased during this orientation period so it was set to increase after um i finished orientation after i finished being precepted so this is what i agreed to upon working in this institution actually as i still work at this institution now they don't even do that anymore as soon as you're hired you get paid the regular nurse rate but when i started you get paid a decreased nurse rate and then after orientation they increase it every hospital is different some some um if you're on like orientation or if um i don't know why i'm linking on that program where it's like the hospital kind of guides you through what is it called? I don't know why I'm blinking, but either way, some people sign a contract for two years and during that two year or one year contract where you agreed to not leave that hospital, your pay is decreased. Once that time period ends, your pay increases. Every hospital is different. For me, it was a matter of like after my orientation, which wasn't long at all, unfortunately, but it was a few weeks, maybe like three months or so. And then after that, my pay increased. So that was my first check. Um, so after that this is going to be november 7th is i kind of i started working on my own around july after i started in march like that was kind of how my check looked like um and then after because you're not really doing overtime you're on orientation you know you're not a preceptor you don't get these little extra knickknacks i wasn't on night shift yet so i didn't get that differential so there's that so now now that i it's july you know fast forward a few months i've been working on my own for a little while i've been working on night shift and you know you have that night shift differential and um now my nurse pay has increased so my salary increased so i went from the eighty four thousand dollars to ninety four thousand three hundred and one dollars um so that was my increased pay and now i'm getting paid as a um, regular nurse pay no longer on that decreased orientation pay so um, honestly like in the screenshot is a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo but the basically basically what you guys would want to know is my hourly rate which is it went from 43 I think I said to 48 dollars and like 35 cents and I had a differential of about two dollars and fifty cents per hour so um obviously if you know if you work night shift that um you get paid that differential so your salary is even more than someone who works at the same job but during the day so there was that so all together with the same um hours i made four thousand two hundred and fifty eight dollars per pay period that's before taxes because you know uncle sam be coming for us now granted like even though i'm salary every paycheck varies um you know per whether you did overtime this was just kind of like i did no overtime like you know this is just base pay but that's just kind of an idea as of now i no longer get paid that rate it is increased now also depending on your ho your hospital um 
they can increase your salary per year if you're a part of a institution that does that um some hospitals do some some don't some gives raises some don't but when you're a part of a union hospital then everything kind of goes um, annually and they have a contract that indicates how much you're allowed to get paid you know or increase um in the trajectory of that but um i have been a preceptor twice crazy um but i've been a preceptor twice so you get paid more based off of that if you do overtime and um yeah like so so that's pretty much what it's looking like for a new york nurse now granted i you see my um salary it's not what my salary is now but what my salary was as a new grad nurse and for me coming from nothing i was like whoa this is insanity like what this is like a lot i can i can buy buy something like you know what i mean it's insane but definitely be smart with your money this video is not you know not that but i do want to make a disclaimer and make it very very clear that the hospital that i work in is union so you do pay union fees and that comes out of your check so even though i work in a state that norm that pretty much pays their nurses higher obviously the cost of living is higher as well so you got to keep that in mind if i lived in texas and um you know I, I may not make that salary but the cost of living in texas is lower you know what i mean so yeah you're making that money but the cost of living is also very high so it kind of balances out it doesn't you just you know you got to think about it in that way also as a union hospital like I said, it takes money out of your check and there's other hospitals that are not union that pay you more because they're not union. So it's up to you. Obviously, it's per state. Every institution and hospital is different. So you got to do your research. You can't base, you know, your income off of anything on mine because your first job, to be honest, like because I knew that this is where I wanted to work, this was a union hospital. And I knew other institutions were making way more. I was okay with that just because of the experience that I knew I was going to get in this uh, department. You know, after you gain that experience, go spread your wings and go elsewhere. You shouldn't base it always on income. Think about, yes, am I getting paid this amount? Yes. But also, what experience am I getting? What's the climate of the department? Do I like the staff members here? Do I feel like I'll be respected as a registered nurse here? Will I get the training that I need? You know, you can get another job that's paying you three times as much as you see my check, but like, is it worth your license if you feel unsafe, if you feel like you're being rushed off of orientation or you're not really learning what you need to learn compared to someone else? You may be getting a pay cut, but you're going to be a more well-rounded nurse. So those are things that I, I would suggest that you keep in mind, but I'm not going to make this video long. Stay tuned for my next one. Like I told you before, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, stay a while, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next and if this pay transparency video was helpful for you guys. You know, some people may be like girl you should not be sharing that but one i don't make that anymore and i don't have no problem being honest with you guys so let me know down below but like i always say if you're gonna do anything make sure you do it gracefully i'm so excited to be talking to you guys and i will see you guys in my next one bye